What's up guys, David here with Vares Media and today a two minute tip on light flicker in video. What causes it and how do we prevent it? Can I answer that question in 120 seconds or less? I don't know. So let's start the clock and ask the question. Are you tired of seeing this nonsense? That is light flicker. You get it because that idiot electricity isn't actually constant for a lot of lights. Specifically, it's alternating current that's the problem, damn Tesla. Instead, the current and therefore connected lights are cycling on and off at speeds faster than our eyes can detect, but not faster than the Terminator-style robot eye of a camera sensor. If you've noticed the number of hertz on a plug or similar, that's telling you the speed of the electricity cycle. In the UK and many other PAL territories, it's 50 hertz or cycles per second. The US and other NTSC territories it's 60 hertz. So what does all that mean in practice? Well, if you have lights in your shot that are connected to mains electricity, there is a risk of light flicker. And there's two big factors of risk within that. First, having a shutter speed out of sync with the hertz of your electricity can cause flicker. So in the UK, one over 50 shutter is what you want to sync with the 50 hertz power. Second, a higher shutter speed can make flicker worse. There are the odd exception where direct multiples of the value that removes flicker can be okay. So if one over 50 eliminates flicker, one over 100 might work too. But even with direct multiples, flicker tends to come back with a vengeance as shutter speed gets higher. So try to stick close to 1 over 50 or similar as far as your lights dictate. So set your shutter speed to a level that syncs with the flicker and no problem, right? That's the solution. Well, in contrast to the second track of Appetite for Destruction, it's not so easy. Some lights will have a flicker rate which won't perfectly align to your available shutter speed. If you have a higher end or video focused camera that lets you choose shutter angle, you may be able to fine tune that to find a sync point, but the more likely and easier solution is to use video or photo focused lights. They're built for this kind of work and are continuous, therefore giving you zero flicker even at high shutter speeds that you need to shoot moronic slow-mo. Very nice. If you don't know where to start on some lighting ideas, check out my videos with inexpensive video lighting options, and that is the summary. Mains electricity is a jittery Joseph that can cause lights to imperceptibly flicker on and off, but our cameras pick up what our eyes cannot. You can fix it with the right shutter speed to synchronize away the flicker or by using proper video lights. Boom, done. Whew, man, breathing is overrated. Oh man, I could have been a lot more efficient if I hadn't been using this whole lung nonsense up until now. Uh, how do I do for timing? We'll find out with Future Dave in the edit. Uh, however we did, I hope that helped and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this and you'd like more you know, videography, more similar content, then please do like, subscribe, leave a comment, check out the affiliate links, all that good stuff. Uh, but most importantly, until next time, take it easy.